Welcome everybody to another video with Area of Effect Gaming. Today we're covering trophy farming in Project Entropy 2099. I hope everybody's had a great day so far. We're gonna get into it. Uh, basically, what is trophy farming, ways to trophy farm, and why that you trophy farm. So trophy farming is obviously killing troops inside of any enemy formation. In general, it's a 10 to 1 ratio if it's considered an even match by the system. So for every 10 troops you kill, you get one trophy. If you attack somebody that's maybe way higher level than you, or the, the mech and the formation in general is more advanced, then you'll get a better return. You'll get maybe every 8 kills you get a trophy, which is a better ratio. Uh, on the flip side, if you attack somebody that is worse than you, way lower level, and way worse formation, you'll get a higher ratio, 12 or 15 to one, let's say, which means you have to kill more troops to get that one same trophy. So it's less efficient. But in general, that is what trophy farming is, is killing other people's troops. There are a couple ways to go about it. One, the main early game way is hitting away from keyboard troop formations, like players that have stepped away and their, their troops are just hanging outside. Uh, that guy's actually engaged, but uh, this guy, he's been sitting here for a couple hours at least, so he's offline. So you would want to attack him and get trophies for the kills, right? Because he's, he's most chance early on a server. Most people haven't figured out to put their troops on auto combat. So as long as you use your long range vehicles like RR2X or Lord Burger or Spotlight or Prism, some of the ones that are longer range, uh, you can engage them without them even retaliating at all. So it's basically free trophies. But we do that early game because it's a it's an effective method. The other method is what you're seeing here, which is a one-on-one. -on -one. So we'll cover that in a second. So the other obvious method is mass combat. So 500 v 500, right? So your entire alliance or coalition goes against another alliance. Uh, that's another way to get trophies. But that's not technically trophy farming. This setup I've got going on right now is in its bread and butter is trophy farming. It's you and another player, or in this particular case, me versus one of my alt accounts. So I've got my main account, Admiral Grogu, in a damage reduction build, which is shields. I want shields, and I want as many of them as I can get because I do not want to take damage. I do not want to have to regen or, or actually replace my troops. Now, obviously, this isn't an ideal build. I've only got what I've got. But in an ideal world, this formation just would hardly take any damage. So it's got Hannah, which she pops a shield every once in a while. Guard, which when it takes damage every couple times, it pops a shield. And then I do have Pearman on here to repair troops to make the battle last longer, which is the goal of trophy farming. On my other account, I have Aramoth with Fallout and Nano Repair, which is a high regen build. And the goal is to regen lost troops to make the battle go on as far long as possible. So when you kill them, Regening them does not lose your trophies. So if you kill them, you kill them. So again, the goal is to keep your formation alive or keep the target formation alive as long as possible. In this particular instance where it's me trying to gain trophies on my main account primarily, and I'm not worried about it on my alt account. Now, if you're playing another player and you're gonna wanna go for even a build as possible on each side so that both are regen builds Ideally, if he's doing Aramoth Fallout Nano Repair, you're going to do Aramoth Nano Fallout Repair. I sent my guys home to repair before they got killed, <laughs> and then I had to wait a couple minutes. So they're back at it again. Uh, they're attacking each other. So that is the goal, is to regen. And especially if you're asking another player to help you, which is common. You, you A lot of alliances will set an area marked on the map for trophy exchange, right? So one alliance sends their guys there, you send somebody to match and you guys one-on-one -on -one to death, which can work. If you don't have an alt account or you don't want to take the time to create knowledge. So trophy exchanging with another player is usually best as an even match. So if they're running Aramoth Fallout Nano Repair, you want to do your best to match that if you can. 
so that your statistics and damage are exactly the same. That way you guys can repair at the same rate. Now there will obviously be caveats. Maybe this guy's pulled Fallout twice, so he's got a level 2. Um, the other guy's got a level 1, but maybe the other guy's gotten an extra nano repair. So things can be a little off balance, but you want to go for as best of balance as possible. Some other vehicles that are useful, the Repairman obviously, because he does like 600% of energy as a repair when he does a repair. So it's not good as nano repair, but it's a good alternative. There is another vehicle, Torcraft, which when it attacks, it regens. So that's not as good as Siren, which is my next one. Siren, when Siren takes damage, it regens. And then obviously Fallout, when he attacks, when the target's got Fallout, he has a chance to repair. So those are alternate vehicles if you had them. Alternate heroes, the only ones I really know of that do health regen in season one are gene i know there's one in season two one of the season two guys does it but i'm i'm going for generality in this video i don't want to give you specific setups i want you to have the tools to test out your own formations and see what works for you with the heroes and vehicles and weapons that you have but knowing how it functions and the the logic behind it will hopefully help you to figure it out on your own, right? So that's that was the goal of this video. And we're, we're on to the last topic, why do we trophy farm? So we trophy farm, obviously, if you haven't figured out already, there is a trophy store. So you go into your market, go into trophy exchange, and you can buy various things, energy splinters, regular drop pods, you can buy alliance teleports if you need them, you can buy accessory drop pods, you can buy wafers, ex hero experience. I would typically stay away from the wafers and the hero experience, just because these are the things that reset at the end of every season or planet, so it's not really worth investing in, it's less efficient. Energy splinters and drop pods, will travel between seasons. If you have extras that haven't been used or haven't used them to biohack your heroes, splinters will save between seasons. Uh, any pods, I think your account can hold 60 pods into the next season. Uh, so that's a good thing. Near the end of the game or ne near the end of the server life, if you're comfortable with the amount of heroes you have, you can start stockpiling drop pods and then open them first thing on the next server so you have a better chance of getting heroes in the, in the new pool for season two. But pods and splinters are your number one things that you always want to make sure you have bought from the trophy store. Uh, if you need them, you can get Alliance Teleports, uh, but they get more expensive in each set. So these were 500 for splinters, these were 750, and then these I think are 1,000. I haven't opened that yet, so I can't do it but that's, that's what it will be. Now these I think were 2,000, this was 3,000, and then obviously you see the Alliance Teleports here, 4,000 and 6,000. So most of the time to be efficient, if you're low on Alliance Teleports, go ahead and get the 4,000 one. I don't usually go for the 6,000, and in this particular instance, I have eight saved up from the Alliance store using the Alliance currency, so I don't need to buy it with trophies. I'm just gonna save my trophies and spend it when the store resets in five hours. So that's what you use the trophies for, and that concludes the video. I hope everybody found it extremely educational and extremely useful, and I look forward to seeing everybody out there doing trophy farming. This is Aaron with Fat Gaming signing off. We will see you on the next one. Thank you for watching to the end of the video. If you liked what you saw, please click the subscribe button on the screen, and hit that notification bell if you want to see more content when I post it. I look forward to seeing you on the next one.